Media, welcome back. If you can hear me, please give me a thumbs up on the on the chat, just so I know that you can hear me. We're gonna get started here pretty soon. But first, we gotta play a game of what color is Leo's shirt today? Who wants to take a guess for your chance to win an air guitar <laughs> or an air drum set? Or as my daughter Lianangi says, a lifetime supply of air. <laughs> I like to say, okay, excellent, you can hear me. I'd like to welcome you all back here to episode 5 of The Chosen. I'm really excited about this episode. I don't know why I'm a little nervous too. I think we're getting some good stuff. And, uh, and so, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. So we got black, white, we got white, white, and blue, blue, red, and blue, red, and purple, purple. Uh, what's, what's puce? <laughs> Red, okay, somebody says red, okay, green, black, green, so, salmon, not today, set, Satan, <laughs> okay, blue, uh, maroon, what a maroon, uh, navy blue, gray, 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 coral, okay, all great answers, oh, I don't have a coral shirt, maybe I should get a coral shirt, orange, I don't have any orange shirts either, I need to get some orange shirts here. Uh, Roja, excellent, maybe, we'll see Alright, so we're going to get started here pretty soon uh, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for joining me on this journey For being so kind and so polite and for joining us on Discord uh, For those of you who do not know what Discord is uh, It's an app, it's absolutely free, you can download it on your phone, download it onto your computer And what happens on Discord is just amazing is not even a fit word for it because it's it's more than amazing a lot of you are witness to this um, there's a lot of loving caring people that are incredibly supportive of one another you guys uh, pray for one another you share I saw a new a new chat room in there today uh, penmanship which I think is really cool so like you can share like your your, uh, your writings and Drawings and doodles and stuff in your journals. I think that's awesome. I'm a big I'm big on journaling. I haven't journaled, to be honest, in, in, in a while. But I need to get back on on it. I need to get on a schedule and jump back on it. Uh, I get I I journaled yesterday and it was a big journal. If you saw yesterday's live, you know. Let's see. I've hit the like button. Anyone else? <laughs> Carry Mama Bear. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. That's one way you can help support this channel is by hitting that like button right now. I know it's just a click to you, but for me, it's, uh, it's pretty big. It helps me uh, do a lot of awesome stuff, like eat tacos and uh, watch movies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, if you saw yesterday's live, you know I, I'm, I'm helping someone out who um, has absolutely no one else to help them in, uh, in Mexico, and we are gifting a young man a, an awesome guitar, which they should be getting soon, which I'll share uh, a photo with you all. Also get to feed Archie, and uh, and much much more than that. All right, cool. So the big reveal: what color shirt am I wearing? You all said black, blue, gray, coral, maroon, uh, grage. <laughs> is that like gray beige? Or, or, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that color is. But okay. So here we go. We are. Uh, I wish I had a drum roll. But I don't have a drum roll, but I'm going to pause the music here real quick. Boom, pause music. And boom, it's maroon. It's kind of, oh, well, it looks kind of purplish, but it's maroon. It's a maroon color. It's got a little purple, purple hue on it. It's pretty awesome. I love it. It's one of my favorite shirts. If you all are ready, uh, just remember, please, no spoilers today, okay? I don't want any spoilers. If I ask a question, please answer the question directly without giving me too much ahead. Don't say, oh, yeah, it's because later on you'll see that this is going to happen, and then that's going to happen. So just say, oh, it's because of X, Y, Z, and answer the question. Test the question alone, please. Hi, uh, hi, Tess. Welcome. Close to red. Yeah, Melissa, you're pretty close to red. Uh, Jenny, you said purple. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of a purple in person, it looks more, yeah, it's kind of like a red, purple wine color. That's what it is. So, <laughs> cool. So, we are in for a good episode today. I, uh, I've gotten a lot of messages from you all saying that this is one of your favorite episodes. 
Uh, I will soon find out why. But before we get started, I just want to mention a couple of things that uh, the people from The Chosen wanted me to, to mention. Uh, the first is that the following is a paid collaboration with The Chosen. I have been given express permission from The Chosen and VidAngel Studios to show their content on my channel. So please do not rebroadcast The Chosen unless you have permission from, the, from their team. And the second part is that what you're about to see and hear from me is an honest review of the show. And I get to be as brutal or as positive as I want to be. So if I don't like the show, you'll know about it. But we already know how I feel about this uh, show. Uh, so far, I'm loving it. And uh, I'm particularly loving the way that, that Jesus is portrayed here. Uh, he's very, very much human. And so I think I can relate to him on, a, on another, on a, on a human level first, uh, which is what I think if you have atheist friends or family members, which I think is what they really want uh, to hear first. They don't want to hear a lot about the, the divinity of, of Jesus. They want to first hear about his humanity. If you approach if you approach them by showing Jesus' humanity first and then start easing your way into the, um, you know, start easing your way into, oh, was this? Sh start, sorry, start easing your way into to the divine stuff, the sacred stuff, then I think it would, it would help them out gratefully and uh, you as well. Ah, water. Oh, so good. Excuse me. I'm really, I really needed that water, that drink of water. All right, cool. So, familia. Thank you all so much for joining me on Discord. Also, please remember to download the, the Chosen app if you haven't already. The link is in the description down below. Um, let's see. So, yeah, in the description down below, you'll see the, the link to the Chosen app. It's a free app. Um, the the uh, people at The Chosen have made it available for free to everyone around the world, so feel free to share it. On the app itself, actually, um, I forgot to show you all, but real quickly, I'm just going to share this real quick and then we'll get started, okay? Just give enough time for people who didn't receive a notification, which I'm not sure why that's happening, but give those people a chance to uh, to catch up with us and, and meet us here. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you The Chosen app. It's pretty awesome. You have several different sections so you have one is the show all the series with episode by episode here as you'll see here and then it'll tell you how many people have actually watched it so this is 55 million 502 like that number just keeps going up like minute by minute people are, are watching it for free and uh i'm lucky enough to have them allow me to also stream it on here for free so if you all would love to either help them fund season two, you could do it by, you see these little tabs in the bottom. There's one that says gift. It's like the third one down, the third one here. If you click on that gift factory, you'll see that they are, they're selling like DVDs. They have like a 40 day uh, devotional guiding guidebook. I call them devotional journals. You could purchase and every purchase goes towards funding season two. So if you love season one, if you've seen it several times, as I know many of you have, uh, go ahead and, and just buy something and give it give it to someone or buy it for your for yourself. Uh, buy a journal. I mean, Christmas is coming up soon. I hate to be talking about Christmas now because we're not even in in November or October yet, and I'm I'm over here talking about Christmas. But if you're thinking about something, this is a good way of of both helping fund a good film, like great quality film, and at the same time giving somebody something that they're gonna use and and love, and so. That, uh, that helps. It shows you how much money they've actually raised and how many people have donated. So you could donate, uh, you can either donate or, or buy. There's a thing called paid forward here in the bottom. Julie Peters, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Julie says, I'm loving watching this with you, with you all. I live alone, so I don't get to share or experience on stuff like, like this. So thanks for being there. Oh, Julie. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. This is one of the great things about this whole um, thing, this, you know, COVID and, and uh, lockdowns and all this other stuff is that we've learned new ways of staying together. We've built a global family. Um, and you all know that on Discord, we, we're just, we're just a, a, a community of love, a community of love, of peace, peacemakers, right? Uh, 
if you, if you click on on sorry I'm, I'm coming back here because i want to get started on the pay it forward which is that fourth tab down on the bottom you'll see sections so you can help m give this uh this show access to more people around the world by by donating either 15 dollars here they have 49 149 all the way up to 10,000 almost 10,000 nine you know all the, all of that and you can donate and they'll give you certain things or like credits and send you uh like merch i think uh, and you can visit like one day pass visit for the family on stuff and things like that so anyway i just wanted to, to to let you all know about that if you didn't know that's one way that you can help this incredible team fund the next season and uh i think it's great because the quality is not it's not low quality it's great quality stuff i mean they're hiring i think they're they're bringing on board they're bringing a lot of great uh excuse me i'm, I'm trying to set my camera up my, my phone here so i don't miss any of your your chats super chats and, and stuff like that so i can keep 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 an eye on the chat and on the on the video i think i got it okay cool so familia if you're all ready and you have your headphones on please Put them on let me know give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go and remember no spoilers i will be pausing the video from time to time to ask questions i'm not exactly sure why but my mic actually gives out about an hour in so if that happens just let me know and i will switch over to the other audio i can't play the other audio or you'll get an echo you'll hear this mic and then you'll hear that mic uh so towards the end i'll just switch switch it so that it doesn't it doesn't do that all right everybody excellent we got we got thumbs up We got awesome. We got a lot of thumbs up. Please remember to follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram page here. We're doing a lot of fun stuff on stories. Um, some of you participated in yesterday's yesterday's story. I'm gonna post some more like that because I, I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot about love from you all too. There's also donations you can make here on 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 Cash App, and you could join, uh, partner up with me on Patreon and become a supporter of this channel, if you uh, if you would like as well. All right, familia, and then there's the super chats as well on here directly on here so thank you so much for joining me i'm gonna play a little bit and you let me know if volume is a-okay i'm gonna set my volume up now just turn it up now so that everything can be ready and here we go familia this is episode five episode five the chosen season one before i get started just want to say i love you all thank you all so much for helping me spread the love and spread peace and uh, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Audio. We're good on audio. Give me a thumbs up if we're good on the audio, please. by the colors in, in, on this show, the color grading. The quality is so great. Please, have you seen... Why are you alone, man? My son, he's only 12. He's... <laughs> Kids are alone here. It's Jerusalem. You from here? No. We came for the Passover feast. We thought he was in the caravan. The <laughs> feast was three days ago. Jesus! Jesus! Mary. <gasps> Ima? This is 12-year-old uh, Jesus. I looked everywhere day and night. We were so scared. I told him. He's okay. Why is everyone so upset? Mary, he was in the... She was supposed to be riding in the caravan with Uncle Abaita. I was supposed to be with my father. Then why weren't you? I was. Incredible, Mary. You should have seen him. He was teaching when I found him. The rabbis, the scribes, the scholars, they could not believe their ears. They barely let us leave. Didn't you know I must be in my father's house? It is too early for all this. If not now, when? When? Just. Help us get through all of this with you. 
please. <laughs> so good, these shots. Maybe we should get going before they make a formal inquiry, hmm? Jesus, please don't do that again, eh? Yes, Abba. <laughs> May I read? We'll see. Hmm? Come now, we've got a long journey. What are you going to do for your mother for this in transgression, huh? I'm going to make him rub your feet. Abba! <laughs> All right, familia. Put your hands up. Put your, put your hands together, familia. This song reminds me of a, of a song that we used to play on, in the marching band when I was in high school. Wade in the water. Wade in the water. Wade play that in a marching band if you believe, can you believe that uh, believe her, if you could believe that that's what I meant it's uh <laughs> it's pretty awesome <laughs> excellent Katna, AD 26, not after death. <laughs> Don't hear. <laughs> Dinah! Mary? Someone was celebrating a marriage. <laughs> I mean, so early. I came here to help. All the way from Nazareth? You must have been riding in the dark. When your best friend is a mother of the groom, you'll be early for the feast, too. <laughs> now, come on. Give me a broom or something. <gasps> OK. OK, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Her smile is so contagious. Infectious. Miracles. Yes, John. Crazy John? Signs and or, wonders. What is it? Wacky John? Weird from John? Who? You. <laughs> Are you adding those to my list of infractions? Only a fantasy. You would have labeled Moses a lunatic for talking to a shrub. Do you consider yourself to be like Moses? Creepy John, that's right. Thank Tell you. me about your ministry. Do you remember when Caesar traveled through Judea? Yes. He sent all these men to clear logs and debris Creepy. for the coming king. Make straight the way for the king, they'd shout. Prepare the way. The roads in Jerusalem do not have the same problem, but I remember the visit. I had to move. Romans aren't kind to the homeless, lost all my possessions. Many in Jerusalem were frightened as well. Oh, and they were lucky to have you to comfort them. For a price, of course. Should we be clearing the road for you, John? Is that the point of this story? I don't like your frock. The cost of the vestments alone could feed three children in Nazareth for a month. Do you hail from Nazareth? Mm hmm? And Jericho, and Bethlehem, Jaffa, Hebron. I see. Well, you have a new home now. Whatever your mission was, I hope you completed it. But you're here to ask about miracles. But first, I wanted to tell you of a miracle that I've seen, but cannot comprehend. And then to make accusations. This is pointless. Clearly, you are not a frothing madman, but every bit as unreasonable. You imprison me and accuse me of being ill-tempered. I am it. not your captor. Do you not understand? This is a Roman cell. I came here to speak to the warden on your behalf. On my behalf? <laughs> Why are you really here, old man? The official reason? You are a Jewish citizen. 
If you have broken Jewish law, it sets a dangerous precedent to allow Rome to adjudicate. Uh, and the real reason? The truth? Me. I am far from home. I am looking in places I would never go because I am searching for an explanation for something I, I cannot unsee. No one else knows you're here. Tell me from the beginning. Ew. <laughs> Nothing that makes sense. <laughs> Last night you told me the truth. Let's continue with that. So, I worked for hours last night, and I couldn't even catch one fish the entire night. And then Andrew and the boys showed up. Thank you for that, by the way. And none of us could catch one fish the entire night. It was horrible. And this morning, we finally gave up, and we went to shore. But there was this teacher on shore. And Andrew knew who he was, but I'll talk about that later. He told me to cast one more time which made no sense, but I did it anyway because of the way he, he looked at me. And then so many fish showed up. They were pouring into the boat. So many kept coming that, that Zebedee ended up filling both of our boats, enough to pay off the whole debt. I, uh, what? I know. <laughs> she said, what? That's, that's like a very appropriate response to something like that, right? What? <laughs> um, I, I just really want to quickly point out, I, I love their relationship. Um, and I love specifically what the director did here with, with or the writers actually, with how they brought us into their relationship somehow. Like, so she was upset with him, right? And she loves him so much that she still sent her brothers out there to help. Um, and... <laughs> You know, she didn't have to, but that's that's love, right? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm upset with you. Yeah, I don't like what you did, but I still love you and I still want what's best for you. And I'm still going to help you because I love you. And so uh, that's just, that's, that's wonderful. <clears throat> I, well, well, he said, like, like he said, how he thanked her. He was like, thank you for that, by the way. It's like, it's like, I, I didn't deserve it, but you did it anyway. And, and, and it's appreciated. That's awesome. Why don't you seem happy? Well, this is hard to explain. More than what you just told me. You no, know, it's like the story of Elijah and Alicia. Yes? Elisha was plying with 12 yoke of oxen when Elijah the prophet just walked up and threw his cloak over him. I, I call him to follow him. And without delay, Elisha slaughtered the oxen, burned the plow, and left everything behind. Yes. The, the teacher. Uh, Andrew told me, but I didn't believe him at first. He's the Messiah. I know it sounds impossible, but I, I saw it with my own eyes. He made boatfuls of fish appear out of nowhere. And the words he spoke, the one John told Andrew was the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It was him. And then, and then he called me to follow him. And Andrew, James, and John to go where he goes and, and to learn from him. And he said that I wouldn't be a fisherman anymore, but that I would catch people instead. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but I'm sure what I saw. I love this He's actor. the one we've been waiting for He's all our lives. Great. And Great. I want to quit fishing and leave the sea behind to go. I know, I know, I know it makes no sense, and I knew it would make you upset. All I can tell you is that this I'm not is. Upset. <sighs> oh, why would I be upset? 
Come here. Come here. I'm not getting emotional. You all are getting emotional. This is this is beautiful. Uh, trust in this way. Like, if you trust him, uh, you could see in his eyes that he was afraid of, of telling her because this is so far-fetched and so wild that, uh, you know, it, it, it would scare, I think, any woman uh, to, to say, well, what, you're giving everything up? Like, are, are, are living to follow some teacher? Like, some stranger you just met who made some fish randomly appear? Like, they could have, she could have turned this into like, hey, like, I'm, I, uh, you know, sci scientifically and say like, oh, it was probably, you know, he probably had the fish there. Uh, you know, in a net or something ready for you to just pick them up and you're just going to throw everything away to follow some weirdo, you know? And, uh, and, uh, but no, she said, why, why, why would I be upset? And there's nothing more, more uh, calming than, than to have your partner like, like support you in this way and to, and to be with you on, on, on the journey that you're on as crazy as it may seem. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know why he did. I tried to tell him I'm a sinful man. Everyone is sinful. I don't know what this means. I don't know yet how I'm going to provide. I don't care about that. Then why are you crying? Because someone finally sees in you what I have always seen. Come on! Somebody cut your onions over here. Somebody's cutting onions. I will travel sometimes. I don't want you to feel abandoned. You have to go with him. How could I feel abandoned? I feel saved. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. When have we ever had anything easy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not our people's way. <laughs> So, are you going to help me? I actually could watch you do that all day. Wash your feet. Yeah, I would, I would pass on... Oh, we leave for Cana today. ...on wine back then. What's in Cana? <laughs> a wedding? What does a wedding have to do with the liberation of Israel? I'm about to find out. Come on. Don't you think our wedding was a kind of liberation? From your fear that I would be bald. Well, my father is nearly blind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how cold it was? No. Oh. Remember Andrew's toast? Hello, hello, hello. Remember the rabbi lost his place? No. <laughs> what? He made everyone stand up and please be seated. Twice in a row, you don't remember? I think the only wine that would be trustworthy back then would probably be the one that Jesus made, right? <laughs> Can I get like a like one of these up on there? <laughs> what I will remember for the rest of my life is lifting your veil. I'd fight tigers for that memory. You'd fight tigers? Well, unless it was as cold as our wedding day right before the sun came up and you got tangled in my chupa. <laughs> You do remember. <laughs> the lamb meat will be there before or after we arrive. After. They don't have a good place to keep it, so I didn't want it there too early. But are they going to show up? With plenty of time. For you to Look at those colors, familia. 
This is beautiful colors. Look at the, the, the sort of like those, those sandy tones in the back with those greens, the reds, that, that orange on her, like those maroon red, like those, I just love it. I love it. But I'll stitch your way. It's beautiful. Yes. By the way, if anybody, if anybody has, has seen any videos on YouTube about this show that doesn't give too much, too many spoilers away, like interviews or anything like that, uh, please share them in the comments below. I, I'm interested. I'm really curious to see, you know, interviews, documentaries, um, maybe not documentaries, but interviews, uh, specifically behind the scenes stuff, uh, things like that. I'll eventually get to it once I finish the series, but I want to see what your favorite ones are. And if you could just leave a, also like leave a little description of why you, you liked uh, that interview or what you got out of that interview. So I can kind of go into it with that in mind, please. I would appreciate that very much. I don't know why I'm looking here. I should be looking up here. Uh, I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, Familia. Wait, there's only three jars. Yes. That's what they asked for. Reima, I am very concerned we won't be able to get all three all the way to Cana intact. I told you, we needed four from your vineyard to be safe. I told you, the wedding family can't afford it. I would have paid you out of my own pocket. Thomas, that would almost erase your whole margin. Why would you do that? I... I... I mean... We're a team. <laughs> right? Well, I think everything will arrive perfectly intact. Especially with how carefully you drive. I just want to be certain that Thomas. every... That's going to be fine. There's two more in the back. I'll get them. I'm glad you got some hired help. There's much to do. Tirza, she's a neighbor. We couldn't afford anyone extra, so she volunteered on her only day off. And here I was, thinking how lucky you were to have me. <laughs> My son just married his love, and I am surrounded by friends. Couldn't be luckier. <laughs> what is she like? Oh, Sarah is lovely and respectful and just wonderful. <laughs> Her parents, Hela and Abner, are not so convinced. About Asher? About Rafi and me as in-laws. The father especially. But he's very successful and influential, so maybe it will be good for the kids' future. You don't have to grovel to anyone, Dinah. I'll come around. I should go find Rafi. I do appreciate it. You heard me tell Eden how grateful I was. I heard your words, but I just watched your movements. I don't know what to do with it. I don't go on long trips. I hold it like this. If I had a stick, I could sling it over to my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll see what that is, <laughs> you. What if they didn't pack lunch? Will we look stupid? What if it comes off as ungrateful? I don't know. Maybe it would look like we never traveled with the Messiah before and we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> a bit nervous. Come on, don't be nervous. If you're nervous, I'll come on too strong. Don't tell me you're not nervous. I said I was. Mm -hmm. You said Look, if I'm nervous. I know what I said. I don't want to let him down. I don't want to do it wrong. Come on. We'll probably both do it wrong. It's like fishing. Remember when Dad taught us? Dad didn't teach us anything. We just sat there. And watched. And then it was our turn, and we made our own mistakes. <laughs> Can you believe this? Well, you guys are great. Hey. Hello. <laughs> they were sharing a moment oh, there. Yeah. Perfect day for a wedding, huh? Master. Simon. Andrew, Mary, James, John, Thaddeus. But where is, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Raining figs. Figs? For the journey. Ah, now we won't even need to stop for lunch. <laughs> Thank you, James. Yes, master. Ah, 
Two Jameses. How will we solve this dilemma? Well, what if uh, I go by Big James? Is that acceptable to you, young James? Yes, I think that's fair, Master. And the sense of justice, too, huh? Then it's settled. Now, to the road, my friends. The bride and groom await. Hmm. I think... I think it might be a little homier on this perfect. side. Perfect. No? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's perfect. And sturdy. Let me speak Ish. to the carpenter. I know their language. It will be okay. Will you help me decorate it? Dinah, please. Let me do this for you. Mary, I love you, but... Rafi and I got what we paid for. I'm embarrassed how few timbers we could offer. And there's no reason to settle. Who's settling? It'll be perfect. There are many other things to do today, Mary. You said so yourself. Always the bright side. Someone has to be. <laughs> Will you start on gathering more flowers? Of course. Uh-oh. Shalom, Hila. <laughs> Dina. I'm delighted to share this special day. Is Abner here? I'd love to tell Rafi we have time for a special prayer together. Abner sent me on ahead. He'll come with friends before the ceremony. He asked me to select his table. Well, we have arrangements for everyone seating already. Abner likes things his way. I'm here to see that they are. Even at our children's wedding feast? Dina, Abner is set in his ways. It's not personal. Well, it should be. Oh. On certain important occasions, I have been able to prevail on him. <laughs> I hope this is important enough. Dina, Sarah is unwavering in her love for your family. We love Sarah. And all of you, very much. Sarah knows you do. The hope was crooked. <laughs> <laughs> I know that look. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Simon. I was thinking, mm. if this wedding is worth a journey for you, who has so much to do. Mm. Perhaps it is also worth the journey to many wealthy Jews. You believe important and powerful Hebrews will be there? Possibly. A very keen son. The most important and powerful person I know will be there. Oh, yeah? My mother. Isn't your mother from Nazareth? <laughs> you should announce this after the guests, right? right? There'll be no Romans. Seems like the perfect place to gather more followers, get this whole thing moving. It's not my special day, Simon. It's the special day of the couple, Asher and Sarah. They are blessed to have you at their wedding. Do they know what a remarkable thing it is? Well, considering that I was the clumsy teenager who cracked my head open at Asher's when he was a child, I don't think he finds me remarkable. Did you think much of your childhood friends? No, he didn't have any. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I stand corrected, he had me. Compulsory service. I don't remember kids exactly lining up around the block. Mary, <laughs> did you think that having brothers would be like this? I always wanted brothers as a little girl. Soon you'll have 12, and tell me how you like it. 12? You'll see. Ah, we're getting close now. Cana is just over the next rise. Well, we had a wedding. It just wasn't like everyone else's. Why not? You know why. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone. I know. I was going to make a joke, but I don't know that it's... <laughs> Never mind. Oh, if Forget Joseph it. were here, he would be so proud of you and Rafi. So happy for you. You don't think I'm overdoing it? I would have said so. It's just that Hila's canopy for their son's feast had exquisite and extravagant. It doesn't even matter. Sarah and Asha will love it. Have you heard from your special guest? He's coming. Oh. He may bring several others. Is that okay? Jesus can bring everybody he wants. I haven't seen him in ages. How is he? He's good. He's... He's always good. I'm ecstatic for you. <laughs> I imagine he's a fine craftsman. When he's not working, he has a calling. I seldom know where it will take him. 
He's bringing students. Hmm? Hmm? I bet he's handsome. Hmm. I bet he <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Daina. Daina, they're here. Moment of truth. I made Rafi spend everything we had left for good wine. So wish me luck. You must be Thomas. I am Rafi. This is my wife, Dinah. Many blessings to you on this joyous day. And may I present the finest, most beautiful vintner in all of Galilee, Raima Bat Kafni of the Kafni Vineyards on the plains of Sharon. It is an honor to meet you at last. You will give my regards to the old scoundrel upon your return. <laughs> Raima is the daughter of my old friend, Kaf. The wine is here on time. A good start to a joyous day. Of course. Thomas is never late. My father sends his warmest <laughs> regards with this. Breast in the time Augustus died, cut with seawater honey from Mount Hermon, black pepper, and pine from Tyre. Divine. I certainly won't refuse that. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. Oh my, <laughs> thank heaven on Arsha's day. Abner and Hila will be pleased. Maybe a little jealous even. Oh. Abner and Hila, I am now in debt because of wine for Abner and Hila. Oh, hush. How much is <laughs> Of the special vintage, there's two amphorae and one of a lesser. Of course, we intend to serve the best wine first when the guests are fresh. Later, when everyone is stuffed and senses dulled, we'll serve the remaining jar. <laughs> Do you Senses understand? dulled? Yes, son. It's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> We are in good hands. And I assume the head count is still the same, 40 or so at a time during the week? Is it? I'm asking. I'm sure it's right. Perfect. Where would you like us to set up? This way. The master of the banquet will walk you through it. By the way, if you're in catering, take notes. This is, uh, this is great. <laughs> great customer service. Knock, knock. Come in. <laughs> Hi, Ima. Oh, how are you? Oh, I missed you. I have missed you. Look at you. It's been a while. Have you been eating? I have been eating. These people have been helping me to eat. Hi. So how are you? Are you students? I'm James. Multiple demons. Also. I saw it myself. They jeered at me from inside her mouth. Nothing could be done for her short of a miracle. And she won't say who restored her. He did not reveal his name to her. <laughs> what? What? It has begun. What has? If he's healing in secret now, the public signs cannot be far off. Public signs? What? You know him? You can say that. What's his name? Who has ascended into heaven and come back down? I asked his name. Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Don't Called Solomon to me, you wild mongrel. Who has wrapped up the waters <laughs> in a garment? Finish. No, you answer me first. Teacher of Israel. Finish the oracle of Agur, son of Jekai. Who has established all the ends of the earth? What, what is, is his name son? and what is the name of his son? Surely you know. You are careless with Torah. God does not have a son except Israel. Israel is his only son. All of us. Suit yourself. You know, they'll put a man to death for blasphemy like that. Who will? You. It'd be a terrible precedent for Rome to adjudicate. I should never have come here. All your life you've been asleep. Make straight the way for the king. He is here to awaken the earth. But some will not want to waken. They're in love with the dark. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder which one you'll be. Ooh, D. Ah! Okay. Now, if this man is anything like you believe, or if he exists at all, you should leave this region. Your presence alone puts him in danger. If you think he needs my help, you've heard nothing. <laughs> When the song is over, bring out the olives and the cheeses, 
Set them on the long table in between the loaves of bread and the cucumbers. Is this the Thomas that is going to be joining them soon? Can you let me know? I just want to know that. <laughs> so I'm going to serve myself a little bit more water while I get an answer there. Yeah, the truth bombs, exactly. I ask you, please, see. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure because I have no idea. I've heard his name. I have no idea what he did. I think this is interesting how they're developing these characters, kind of give you a, giving you a little bit of a backstory. I know that the Bible does that, but to see it in, in like a, in, in video form or in, in motion picture form uh, it helps out like drastically. So here we go. It's hard to count when they're all spinning, huh? <laughs> Thomas! In a moment. Thomas! Okay, okay. Hi. Am I going mad, or has 40 been the magic number all along? The head count? Why? Are we over? They always do this. I brought food in a front one. The last count was 80. You made a mistake. Maybe by a few. Even if I'm off by five, the wine. I did advocate for a fourth. <laughs> But three is, is still <laughs> enough. Four to sixty. <laughs> the voice of the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the voice of joy, and the voice of madness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. Amen. 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 Lighten your pores, like this. Three quarters full. If they ask you for more, tell them you'll be right back. But guess what? You won't be. Understand? <laughs> Never mind on the whole catering thing. <laughs> well, the guests seem to be happy. Or so maybe far. you should take notes. The servants do not. How are we doing? Nothing to worry about. You are one of the finest banquet masters we have ever seen. Keep up the good work. Hmm. <laughs> what now? I have an idea. Ego, Thanks ego, so stroking much. left and right. Duffy! Dinah! Hello, Hello. Abner. Well... Love the music. This is the best party I've been to in a long while. <laughs> you honor us, Adler. We are blessed to have two children so in love. Ah, I'm happy too. I'll be honest, I was not always happy about this. You may not have known that. <laughs> yes, what? we know. Hey, you <laughs> were born in Nazareth, Dinah. Rafi, your people are travelers. And your trade, Rafi, it hasn't brought you much success. And well, Asher seems like a nice young man. He has not yes, yet. Yes, Abner, we get it. Yeah, I don't mean to insult. <laughs> My family have been powerful traders in this region for years. I believe success has made my generation arrogant. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I thought you said this was crooked. Oh, oh. Uh, it's real quickly. There's a. I gotta look for it. I'm gonna share it on Discord. But there was a, a 
a sort of like a, a meme or something, not a meme. It was a, I guess a post someone posted. It said, there's like so many wonderful things to a woman. You give her, you give her a house. She makes you a home. You give her, you know, some, some food and she'll make you a meal. And there's like all these wonderful things that it said to her. I forgot what, what else it says, but it kind of reminded me of that. She's like, Hey, look, she, you give her a crooked, whatever gazebo thing whatever it's called and uh, she made it straight right <laughs> and this wine is delicious i must know the vineyard boom <laughs> purification water there's still some left in these dilute the wine people will notice whispers will spread if they did Feel like this family would die of shame. What about us? We'd be ruined. It's not a great Atupa. option, I agree. Gotcha. So help me think. We could serve the guests extra date cakes, oversalt the food, make them thirst for water. Oh. I don't know. This is humiliating. Let's keep looking. Awesome. Look at the colors, they're so beautiful. Five arches on the music. They have no idea who sits before them. <laughs> <laughs> to be a child again, yes? <laughs> I think we are the lucky ones. They have to go home with their parents tonight. We get to stay with him and his mother. Where will that be? Who knows? With him, I have learned to stop worrying about those things. I haven't. It's cold in this region. You think he would let you freeze? My brother has many worries. I keep reminding him of when our Abba taught us how to fish. We just sat there and watched until we became fishermen. <laughs> mm. We will watch him. And watch and watch and watch. Forever, I think. Until, so they would watch his father until they became fishermen. And now they're all going to watch Jesus until they become what? I'm going to get more wine. <laughs> get two. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here. It's usually the students that choose the rabbi, not the other way around. And I'm not even a student. Neither was I. Thaddeus introduced me to him. How did you meet? <laughs> On a uh, construction job in Bethsaida. He hasn't exactly been picking the best and brightest students. <laughs> what? <laughs> he works? Well, until recently. He's not a professional rabbi. Yeah, but I thought he has no home and no job. No permanent home. He's a stonemason, like you. A craftsman. He taught as well. He asked me to follow him. He said he was building a kingdom, a fortress stronger than stone. I believed him. What were you building in Bethsaida? <laughs> a, a, a public amenity. An aqueduct? No, of a, something uh, humbler. 
What then, man? It's, it's not proper to say in front of a woman. I have seen and heard things that would turn your blood to ice. And a dream? <laughs> Wait, ice? <laughs> yes. Our master building a privy. A job <laughs> is a job. I've, I was cutting stone for the retaining wall. He, he was building a ramp of cedar planks so the crippled and the elderly could get to it without climbing the steep steps. But well, why didn't he heal them so they could mount the steps themselves? He's always saying his time has not yet come. Calling your name, the catch of the fish. Why was it his time for miracles then and not others? Because those were private. He, he hasn't shown his signs to, to others publicly yet. What's keeping him from making his ministry public? The wind blows to the south or to the east, and you cannot say why. A latrine. <laughs> Yeah, we better not spread that around. <laughs> he doesn't hide where he's from. Oh. Don't tell Andrew. That room. Yeah, he'll be surprised. <laughs> Said he'll be surprised. S Sister Caroline. And now, friends, the dance there are of to be the disciples. Of the apostles. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, what is this? Thomas? Talk to me. Just watch out for the frogs this time. <laughs> oh, sons of Jonah! We were just looking for you. They're dancing to the song of Miriam, and we thought you wouldn't want to miss it. Of course. Let the three of us show them how it's done, huh? I don't think that's such a good idea. Why? Uh, Andrew has four left feet. Four? <laughs> Why four? When he tries to dance, he looks like a donkey walking on hot coals. <laughs> oh, Andrew, do you deny it? I've never seen a donkey walking on hot coals. <laughs> Actually, that would be a terrible thing to behold. My son. Ah, Andrew, you see, even my own mother will join us in the Song of Miriam. They've run out of wine. I got you. That is only the first day. <laughs> yes, and it's all gone. Not a drop left. Why are you telling me this? We can't let the celebration end like this. And Etcher's family humiliated. Boys. Uh, go join the others. I'll be right there. Mm. Mother, my time has not yet come. So she... If not now... When? When? <laughs> uh, how the turntables have turned. Please. Is this, is this part biblical? Did he do it for his mom? Is it, is it? I'll, I'll wait before I continue to answer, to, to, till you answer this. I just want to know if, if this is actually in the Bible that the mom said, the mom asked, his mom asked him, to do it, and that's why he did it. Yes, no? I got a yes, I got a no. Yes, 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 okay, I got more yeses. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. He did it for his mom. Perfect, okay. Muchas gracias. Continuing. The music is so wonderful. The way he tells you. <laughs> They're like, what? He's a master winemaker? Fill these jars with water. I'm not sure you heard her clearly. But we've run out of wine, not water. These are similar in size to your own fault. He's like, I don't know if you heard her clearly, but she said, do whatever I asked you to. All right. <laughs> the prudent marks, yes. He could have filled all the way to the brim. You're a very responsible person, aren't you? We are in a crisis, and I was led to understand you have a solution. Do you know why jars for purification rites are made of stone? 
He's like, I put the Christ in crisis, boy. <laughs> Just kidding. What? You heard me. Wait, wait, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Do you know why jars for purification rites are made of stone? <laughs> what? You heard me. He's like, did I stutter? Because the stone is pure. Less likely to stain or break. And it can't be made unclean. Yes. Fill these jars with water all the way to the brim. Why? You heard him. Start drawing water. Quickly. Said why? Tell anyone you find to stop what they're doing and help. From the directions you have provided, I see no logical solution to the problem. It's going to be like that sometimes, Thomas. <laughs> what did you say? I do not rebuke you. It is good to ask questions, to seek understanding. Boom, shakalaka, right there, yesterday's conversation. Right now, right there, sorry. It's not time for this. I know of a man like you in Capernaum, always counting, always measuring. That's my job, and that people will think I have not done well tonight. Join me, and I will show you a new way to count and measure, a different way of seeing time. Go with you where? I, I don't understand. Keep watching. Keep watching. Donna! Where? So me. Abner, I do hope you're enjoying yourself. Where are the servers? I don't know, but. I'll go find them right away. It is far past time for another round of wine. The last one was nearly an hour ago. Yes, well, you Surely see... Surely there is more common, Dinah. Uh, I'm very sorry. Yeah. Just do not worry. This will be taken care of immediately. Next round of wine right away. Thank you for reminding us it's all under control. Was your father a stone mason as well? Smith. I think it broke his heart, but I apprenticed under a stone cutter when I was nine. Every man must leave his father. Masonry seems like harder work. <laughs> it isn't harder, it's just more uh, final. If the smith wants to change, the horseshoe or the plowshare or the pot hook. He has only to put the iron back into the fire and reshape it to fit his designs. They're full. Everyone, please step outside. I just want to point out how amazing this lighting is. Uh, the lighting in the background, the jars, you know, how it lights up his face, his beard. You could still see the blue in his, in his, uh, I'm not sure what to call it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the, the garment that he's wearing over his shoulders, you could still see the blue in there. Look at the red in, in uh, the young lady's uh, head, head wear, headdress. It's just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just for a moment, Thomas.
Once you make that first cut into the stone, it can't be undone. It sets in motion a series of choices. What used to be a shapeless block of limestone or granite begins its long journey of transformation. And it will never be the same. I'm ready, Father. Draw some out and serve it to the master of the banquet. It's not like water. We're gonna serve water to the people. I like that the director didn't go with the with the I don't know if this is written in the Bible that he did it in this specific way, but I'm glad that he didn't write it in like then he did it right before their eyes because it, it kind of still leaves the mystery like like what happened? Like we walked out and then we walked back in and there was wine. And then some people will still say, well, he could have he could have emptied them out really quickly and have somebody else pour wine and and, and then get, get into some kind of debate like that. But you know, you know, it still leaves like room for the mystery rather than like I saw it with my own eyes and then it's it just becomes like, okay, you're maybe you're drunk, maybe you had too much wine and maybe you didn't see things the way you know what I mean? Like so anyway, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm glad that they did it in this way. <clears throat> well, it's about time. The latter vintage, sir. Good, good. Let's have a taste. Stop the music! Stop the music! Everyone, listen! I have something I would like to say. I would like to address the bridegroom and the bride families. At every wedding I've ever overseen, they serve the best wine first. And then, when the people have drunk freely, much later in the feast, they serve the poorer wine, the cheap stuff. <laughs> because by then, who is going to notice? <laughs> Am I right? But you, you have chosen now to serve the best wine I have ever tasted. Let us thank oh. them for this unnecessary but honorable gesture. He's like, this wine is like from heaven. <laughs> May the wedding of Asher, son of Rafi and Dinah, to Sarah, daughter of Abner and Hila, be as pure and as fruitful as this wine. Blessed are you, he Lord our know. God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. To Asher and Sarah. To Asher and Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is something wrong? Yes. I was. Oh, wow. That, that was a, that was an awesome answer, right? Can we get a heart for that? That, that was awesome. 
a changed heart right there. Just like, hey, you know what? I was wrong. And a proud mama. Aww. I thought it was a carpenter. It's like a winemaker. Apparently he was a jack of all Fish. trades, no? Wine. What will be next? Any suggestions? Anything. <laughs> Any suggestions? How about uh, The Blessing by... Uh, <laughs> can you, can you uh, do a reaction video to The Blessing? <laughs> Let's do this. I'll go with you to the ends of the earth. I hope so, Simon. But I seem to remember there was a problem. Something about... Andrew's feet. Andrew's feet. But first we must evaluate, no? No, 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 I can't. I think we have to. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, Jesus got jokes. All right, all right, Jesus got jokes. That's awesome. Uh oh. That should be it for the night. What do you think of? Who is he? I can't pretend I didn't see a miracle. He gave us even more than we need. He invited me to join him. He wants us to meet him in Samaria in 12 days. I don't know what you think. So don't. Maybe for once in your life, don't think. Excellent. I'm gonna let the credits run, but I'm gonna turn down the music. Sorry, I turned the wrong one down. Can you all still hear me okay? <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, if the mic is still working because sometimes it glitches after an hour. Boom. So, excellent, familia. I'm just gonna let the credits run, give everybody their their proper place here give them credit yeah this was a really great uh, episode um, we had a, a little bit of an emotional beginning with uh, with with Simon and and Eden we we saw that the beautiful relationship that developed between the two and then uh, again Peter's humor is just <laughs> it's just something else I, I love I love his humor I love how he rags on his brother and his brother just, you know, gets a little defensive. Um, but I love the relationship that he has with his brother as well. 
then there's uh there's also here uh jesus how he's uh again just very calm collected he said he wasn't ready no he said he, it wasn't his time but he did a favor for his mom which i think was really sweet uh and then turned this wine into i mean this water into wine and uh, save the party. And uh, I love a lot of these little moments. There was a lot. The cinematography in this is just in incredible. Uh, I loved all these little moments that they had where um, they just showed uh, beautiful lighting and, uh, and just excellent acting on Simon's part as well. Here when he was uh, talking to his wife, saying that uh, Jesus wanted wanted him to follow. And... And you could see the frustration in his eyes, right? Great acting. Just great, 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 great acting. Absolutely excellent acting. Um, yeah, the story was the story was excellent. Uh, Doubting Thomas, I, I, I guess I learned uh, a new, something new about Thomas. So I, I am excited about episode six. I can't wait to do episode six. We're going we're gonna to come back on Thursday to do it. Uh, this will give me enough time to... Maybe watch watch the episodes again on my own, uh, just so I can catch up again and be up to speed with, with everything. I know I just watched them, but sometimes I like watching them again just so that I can, uh, you know, really soak in the information. One of the things that I think I learned in this in this uh, in this episode is again that it's okay to doubt. It's okay to have doubt. You need the doubters. Don't um, don't get too frustrated with people who doubt. Um, get excited actually because this is an opportunity for you to be to reinforce your knowledge um you know um oh sister caroline thank you so much uh, thank you for the super chat sister caroline says leonardo thank you for reacting to this project thank you thank you for for being here uh if you all wouldn't be here it, it wouldn't be as fun because uh, then i get to ask questions as i go along i get to share jokes with you all so I thank you. For those of you who don't know, that colorful chat that just came through in the live chat, it's called the Super Chat. It's a donation made directly onto this channel. Um, it helps me uh, purchase like better gear, um, you know, things that I need uh, for to to make this uh, these reaction videos uh, of higher quality. And uh, the next the next step is for me to to upgrade on a computer because the computer that I'm running. Uh, sometimes uh, slows things down for me and I'm processing a lot of video uh, graphics so um, so it does it does slow things down so I want to speed things up and then purchase a, a a better computer so 